What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Clean Exhibition in Greenville, South Carolina. Let's get it. So this place is full of JDM legends. We got a couple exotics. As soon as you walk in the door, the very first thing you see, this thing is nuts. It's absolutely slammed, as you can see. And they got, it's not every day that you see a Ferrari sitting on Volks. <laughs> That's nuts. Of course, it got that Italian V8 horsepower. So we're gonna be all over the place today, guys. So stay tuned for this. We got a ton of really awesome cars to look at. We're just gonna keep it rolling. So that Ferrari is a part of a team called Team Akatsuki. The Akatsuki is now assembled. And they basically have an entire crew here. I'm just gonna give you guys the full layout. So first up, we've got this Pandem wide body kit, R32 Nissan GTR thing is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, they're gonna have another showcase coming up soon. Bride Lomax seats, absolutely flawless. Right hand drive, of course, you guys know how it is. Execution on this wide body kit is absolutely flawless. Next up, we have this pair of two absolutely gorgeous Honda NSXs, and you guys know me, the Honda NSX is the absolute dream it's it is the end goal for this channel is the end goal for life basically if we can ever get into a honda nsx that is the sign that we've made it so these things are absolutely flawless carbon canards carbon fender accents fully molded wide body kit custom three-piece work wheels absolutely insane full carbon wing as you'd expect on any high quality build We've got some titanium accents inside on that amazing V6 engine, carbon intake up top, absolutely gorgeous. And over here we've got another model, slightly more modest, obviously still completely custom, carbon hood, carbon canards, slightly less aggressive intake on the back, Recaro seats, interior is absolutely flawless. Wow. I mean... There's not really much more I can say about these NSXs. They're absolutely amazing. Next up as a part of Team Akatsuki is the V1 Pandem kit on this absolutely gorgeous Scion FRS. Carbon hood, as you expect, basically a standard these days. Custom three-piece, custom three-piece Brada wheels, the bronze lip with the matte finish, absolutely gorgeous. Thing is wide aggressive it's super super clean valenti tail lights an absolute must on any 86 brz all right guys we're gonna keep cruising and we're gonna see what else we can find at these car shows there's always so much variety you get everything from jdm there's a handful of muscle cars here the whole thing is just absolutely nuts obviously you've got all your merch stands where you can get fantastic merch oh yo check this out so this is like an original marlboro racing livery on this S13, absolutely beautiful. They got the VS wheels, very nice, very nice. Oh, here we go, we got a local drift, local drifter here. Moody blue, as you can see. Obviously, very, very nice interior. Everything you need, going to the track. R32 GTS, slams, cambered. Uh, of course, if it's not a GTR, you might as well, right? Just go ahead and send it. Miata, of course. Miata's always the answer. Oh, some little Watanabe reps, okay, okay. Very nice, the crazy uh, pink and purple window tint. Obviously slammed, it's gotta be. Ooh, so how about this? Very, very clean. Hatchback 240SX on some bolts. You gotta love the Volks. Basically the standard out here. You've got your Bride Lomax seats, right-hand drive imported from JP. So that means it's gotta have the SR20 underneath. Thing is amazing. I've actually seen this one at Cars and Coffee before. This is another, uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh, an SR20. Yeah, right-hand drive SR20. Very, very nice. Yo, this is, 
This is something you don't see every day. They've got like uh, racing simulators here. <laughs> So here, we've got these two, these pair of 86 twins. This is your version three Pandem Rocket Bunny kit. Very nice, obviously in this hot pink color. Very nice three piece wheels, obviously all custom, it's gotta be. Clean culture, you know how it is. And over here, we've got, this is a, an interesting setup here. He's got the, the V2 Pandem kit for the front, but he's got the rally backer kit for the rear. Very, very interesting. Amazing, amazing fit. This is how I like, personally like to see fitment on these cars. Nice and thick, nice and wide. I don't like to see a lot of camber, but that's just me personally. Yeah. We've got a very, very nice Evo 9 here. Man, this thing is pretty. Wonder what the engine looks like. Okay, now, ooh, custom, uh, bottom mounted turbo manifold very nice wonder who made that volks of course standard carbon wing very very nice gorgeous evo 9 okay we got another another crazy honda civic si very nice wheels are absolutely dope broader seats very nice carbon trunk, full custom trunk. Obviously, you've got your air tank set up. Nice kicker, floor mounted all the way into flush. Very, very nice. This is pretty much the only classic that I've seen here. There's a lot of more, a lot more modern muscle cars here. Uh, I believe this is a Z28, 78, 79. I would guess. Don't roast me in the comments if I'm wrong on that. But you know, I'm a, I'm typically a, a, a JDM guy. But uh, you know. Uh, 60s and 70s Camaros are just about the only uh, classic muscle that I personally would ever consider owning. And this is a very, very nice example. Of course, you gotta have a Mark IV. This is the only one that I've seen here. Something's going on on stage. But of course, we've got a Mark IV. Very, very nice, absolute classic. You can't beat classic Mark IV Supra. All right, right here, right behind me, we've got an absolutely gorgeous Bayside Blue R33 GTR. Uh, single turbo swap RB26. Thing is absolutely amazing. All the good stuff, we're gonna start dancing up here. RB26, single turbo. Oh, it's an HKS, it's the HKS upgrade. Workmeister SP1. Is this a Honda Odyssey? This is a Honda Odyssey minivan. They got the, the quick release. Check the trunk. Okay, custom trunk. I see you. That's nuts. They got triple kicker set up. It's on pads. I mean, it's, it's slammed as you can see. Oh, they have niche wheels. Okay, what are these? 20s? 22s? I've never seen a minivan this heavily modded. Absolutely nuts. We got a very nice. S2000 right here. Look at those engines. I've never seen a minivan modded to that to that degree. That's insane. Ah, no, that, my bad. That's a that's an Evo 9. Evo 9. My bad. That's a that's an Evo 9. Gotta check this out though. Harness bar, gotta have it. This Brom Racing. Very, very nice. Things is nuts. Ah, he's got that blocked off. I wanted to see what he was working with in the engine. Oh, boys, we got an RX-7. This is the only one I've seen. Very, very nice. Nice and clean, not overdone. Some people take RX-7s and just do way too much with them. 
very, very, very nice luminosity. And right next to it, we got a little R33. Not a GTR, GT, probably a GT25, I would guess. <laughs> stretched, stretched tires. But very nice nonetheless. I mean, R33s are uh, difficult to get a hold of these days. I mean, everything's imported, but uh, I think 95? 95 is allowable now? 95 and 96, because it's 25 year rule, so. Oh man, so this one, this one's gonna hold a little bit of personal sentiment for me. The, uh, this guy's got the same wheels that I was running on my Scion FRS before I drove it off the side of a mountain. These are the Kansei, Kansei Roku's. They're obviously one piece, they're not like custom three piece or anything, but I was obsessed with these wheels and it took me forever to get a pair for my FRS. Obviously a very nice uh, Subaru SDI hatch. Very nice. God, I miss these wheels so much. Yo, this is nuts. These aren't even legal in the US right now. I don't know how this, how this is here. It's an R34 GTR. Yo. It's on Advan wheels. It's a four door. I knew that there was an R34 in the area somewhere. I did not realize it was a four door. Dude, this thing is nuts. How? How was this here? This doesn't make any sense. Okay. So we've got a color shift wrap on a Mark V Supra. Oh, there was a, uh, I saw an S15 Sylvia in here earlier. And it's not here anymore, and I'm, I'm so sad. Oh, no, never mind. Wrong corner. It's over here. I have to show you guys this. Dude, this is insane. It's not even legal. Poor guy probably can't even drive it. He's just got to trailer it here and back. And this doesn't win every single award available. Gorgeous. How? How do you afford this? How do you get this into the States right now? Dude. Nuts. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just about the cleanest car I've seen at this whole show. God. I love the side skirts that come up here right before the back fender flares. I believe I heard somebody say that these, these flares are all aluminum. So there's, there's, no, there's no fiberglass fenders on this. It's all aluminum very very nice classic bride seats quick release oh uh carbon uh forged carbon steering wheel manual always dude that is unbelievable this is another one you don't see every day uh slammed camaros with led a trunk box roll cage and uh custom air setup this is nuts. You don't see muscle cars stanced out like this very often, but when you do, they, uh, they're all, it's always good to see. You got a Jay-Z X100, a Tourer, Mark II, two Jay-Z under the hood, Conte tandem wheels, very nice with the spike, spike lugs. You like those? Bride Lomax with a, uh, a likewise shift knob. Very nice, massive crazy with <laughs> crazy wing with the uh, industrial style connectors yeah tour also known as the jzx 100 in, in japan mark ii very nice interesting uh choice on the the wrap it's like a forest green almost it's a really really dark green i don't know if you guys can see that underglow now this y'all this is nuts this is a Supercharged Coyote Swap Ford Focus RS full cage insane trunk setup crazy dude nasty nasty wheels carbon doors obviously wide body but look at this thing that that's a Whipple supercharged coyote sitting inside of a Ford Focus RS. 
What? How? That thing is shoved so far in past where the stock firewall is. That's insane. All right. As soon as I walked outside, I hear somebody AK tune just two stepping the hell out of it. Let's go see if we can figure out what this is. There's a big crowd down here. Uh, so uh, I have a feeling I know where I should be looking. All right, well, that dude pulled out pretty much as soon as I wanted to walk up to take a video. So uh, anyway, it looks like most people are leaving at this point anyhow. So we're just gonna go ahead and wrap it up here today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a like down below. If you wanna see, oh, well, okay, apparently they came back. If you enjoyed this video make sure you leave it a like down below if you want to see more from me make sure you subscribe to the channel we'll see you guys on the next one well that was terrible uh i <laughs> as i was about to leave they all like came back around and so i was like well shoot i'll just park right where they park and uh i parked my car right behind where all of them were doing the two steps. So I get out, start recording, and then just start getting blasted in the face as soon as I get out of the car. So I stood there for about five seconds, got back in the car, and now I'm gone with it. <laughs>